What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are talking about five cheap dynamic duos that you can get in NBA 2K19, my team. Well, five insane ones. Obviously, there is a lot of really good cheap duos, but all of these duos will be, I think 15K is the most that any of these is gonna set you back. I'm actually not able to show this on the game. I've used all these duos, I've used most of these in gameplays, but um, actually no, I don't think I've used I was just looking, I was like, I don't think I've actually used any of these in gameplays. I've used them when trying them out because, oh, I'll have to see if the duo actually works. Because if you guys don't know, in-game, obviously in-game, uh, when you're in the subs menu, the dynamic duos never show the boost. But um, when you're looking in the uh, squad menu, uh, the stats are the exact same. The stats don't change with, uh, with the dynamic duos. So if you're looking in the uh, menu on lineups, the stats don't change with, with the dynamic duos. So that's why I'm on 2 KMP Central, so we can actually see uh, the additions made to stats, and we can uh, see which ones uh, give big, big increase to certain players. So this isn't going to be in any particular order. These are just five duos that I really like, and I think they're five duos you should definitely at least try out. Obviously, if you guys are using your all diamond teams and stuff, you're one of those guys who's gotten all the token rewards, these duos aren't going to be great, but um, if you are someone like me who's either saving up your MT for when uh, they eventually give the low intangible really good rubies and uh, amethyst cards that are as good as these diamonds, if you're saving for that, or even if you're um, just on a budget, if you didn't spend any money on the game, these duos are going to be great. So first up is a dynamic duo that's going to set you back about 8 or 9k MT, and it's Ruby Victor Oladipo. And gold Mile Turner. And gold Miles Turner, sorry. So I'm um, gonna start off with Miles Turner. Miles Turner is one of the most underrated centers in NBA 2K19, my team. And he's a guy who can hold his own even though he's only a gold rated player. So he's a 79 overall, so only one rating off being an Emerald. He's got a really nice three ball already of 76, a great open shot mid, 60 speed is not bad. He's also got okay rebounding stats and a great block. With the dynamic duo, he goes up for an open shot mid, which is good. His low post defensive IQ goes up. His offensive rebounding goes up a little bit. And just like, if you guys look at the actual dynamic duo um, stats of players, an awful lot of them go up loads in offensive and defensive consistency, which is not a very important thing to go up in. So that's honestly not much. Like, obviously, he improves a little bit. He becomes one of the best mid-range shooters in the game. But he's not the reason why this duo is so, re well, so good. If you look at Victor Aladipo, he goes up in 35 stats, and he goes up plus four in every one of his shooting stats. Aladipo was a decent shooter, and he becomes a really good shooter. He becomes a better mid-range shooter. He becomes a much better three-point shooter with, at 83. He's already got a nice release. He's already fast and a really good defender. Aladipo, 89 on ball defense, 89 hour quickness, and 90 steals. He's already an absolutely insane defender, and he just becomes a really, really good shooter with his duo. So, um, like you can't go wrong. Again, it's like 8KMT. With how good Moss Turner is, this dynamic duo is so, so nice. And I have a feeling that Oladipo probably goes up to maybe, especially because of how important shooting is for a shooting guard. I'm guessing that Oladipo probably goes up to maybe an 89 overall uh, Ruby or maybe even a 90. Miles Turner probably goes like an 83, 84 because, you know, probably an 82, 83 because for some reason, even though uh, the consistency ratings don't do much in game, they are so important for overall and he goes up loads in both of them. So now we're on to a duo that... I think this may be the most expensive duo. This is either the most expensive or second most expensive duo. It's around 15 KMT as well. These are PS4 prices, and it's Chris Webber and Grant Hill. So Chris Webber goes up 75 total stats, and only 13 of those are in consistency. He goes up to a 78 free throw, meaning he's got a really good free throw, which is uh, something Chris Webber really hasn't had in, well, which something this Chris Webber didn't have at all. Like 53 free throw was terrible. He's got an 80 open shot mid now, so he's got a really nice shot mid. He also goes up four in driving dunk, goes up and draw fell. His health defensive IQ, I don't know really what that does, goes up. And his rebounding goes up a little bit. But that plus 25 free throw is huge. He can already shoot the three ball a little bit from the corners. He can probably hit them. He becomes a good mid-range shooter. And his free throw goes up to a level that he can actually hit them consistently rather than a 50 overall, which is really, really bad. However, main thing about this duo is Grant Hill. Grant Hill only goes up 14 total stats, which you might think is nothing. But look at what those 14 are. A plus five in open shot three to go to 75, which is a good bit better than 70. He will be able to hit them, a, well, a lot better now. It's like putting a shoe on him. Open shot mid of plus four as well is good. And a plus five driving dunk. So his driving dunk goes up to a 98. He comes a gold posterizer 
as well as having a driving dunk tendency of 90. He was already the best dunker in the game in my opinion, and with this dynamic duo, he becomes even better. It is crazy how good he is at dunking uh, in this game. So um, this duo, for like 15k, you cannot go wrong. Weber becomes much better, and even though Grant Hill doesn't go much in much stats, he becomes way, way better. Next, we are on to Chris Paul and Carmelo Anthony. So Chris Paul has got quite decent stats, but again, he is a little bit small. But um, this year, small players are a little bit more effective than they would have been in other years. But um, Chris Paul goes up to an 85 shot mid, only goes up 70 in stats, like 85 shot three. His contested shot three goes as well, his ball control goes up 88 and 90, doesn't mean anything for ball control. Offense, offensive consistency goes as well, and um, the three ball going up is important, but it's not the biggest deal. However, with Carmelo Anthony, who's really cheap, like a thousand MT, he's already got the animations. Melo goes up 68 total stats, 20 of them are offensive consistency, six are shot closed, and he goes up seven in every single shooting stat. He goes up, he becomes comparable to his Sapphire card shooting wise. And like he becomes really good. Like Melo's not gonna be fast. He's not gonna really do much. Like he's gonna have a good post fadeaway, but offensively, without these uh, plus seven stats of shooting, he wasn't really gonna do much. However, with his animations, with his jump shot release, and the fact that some people just love it, with a plus seven to all the shooting, he could be almost as good as a Sapphire Melo. I know, I know the Sapphire is only about 8K, but they're honestly really similar. And even though obviously we have the Sapphires, it is like, you're not going to get too much out of this. But the start of the game, this duo was so, so nice just because Melo just became an absolute beast for a 79 overall gold um, with this card. Next, we have got Terry Rozier and Jalen Brown. Again, another duo you might be thinking, why do I have a gold player in there when, well, most people have amethysts and diamonds already. This isn't 2K18, there's no, um, what was it gonna call it? There's no uh, Supermax, so gold players are basically useless. However, uh, Terry Rozier has got a plus four in all the shot mids, goes up three in open and contested shot three, so both of them become 81, and uh, his shot mid all becomes 80. And just notice this, were they that lazy to give him 76 in all the shot mids and 80, 78 in all the shot threes? Terry Rogier also had not got the best defense, and his on-ball defense IQ went up five. His low post defense IQ stays the same, but like it's point guard doesn't really matter. Pick and roll defense IQ goes up, pass perception goes up eight. Defense consistency goes up 23. Again, I don't really think um, that makes too much of a difference, and I'm kind of been annoyed. If his lateral quickness would have went up, it would have been a lot better, but Terry Rogier definitely becomes, say, an 82 or an 83 overall emerald with those 75 plus total attributes, which is, mad like plus 75 but um now we're on to Jalen Brown Jalen Brown is about 2k MT Terry Rozier is about 1k so this duo is about 3k MT Jalen Brown goes up five in most of his shooting stats he goes up to an 84 open shot three which I think is better than Tatum he goes up to being a really really nice three-point shooter I think 84 shot three is better than Trey Young with his duo which is crazy obviously we haven't seen Trey Young yet but it, I, it is just still mad in my opinion Jalen Brown is going to be knocked down uh, from three and his mid-range shot goes up to quite good as well. His driving dunk also goes plus five to 87. I think he's got a tendency of 90 as well, as far as I know. Yeah, it's a tendency of 90. So he is going to be dunking on everyone this year. His defense is already really, really good and his lateral quickness, which is the most important defense, the stack goes up three. So Jalen Brown just becomes an absolute beast. I'm guessing he's probably 86 overall Sapphire, maybe an 87 overall Emerald. Um, with all these stat boosts, but obviously we can't see them in the menu, so we don't know what these stat boosts actually are. Um, we don't know what the overall is, obviously, uh, because it doesn't show it in, because well, it's glitched right now in the lineup screen, which is why I'm on this site. But um, this duo is insane, and Brown becomes an absolute beast. And last, we have got Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns. So Andrew Wiggins goes up to a 75 shot mid. He goes up to a 77 shot three which is actually really good. Like his three ball of 71 is a little bit low. 77 is a lot better. It's like putting a three point shoe on him. And if he's wide open now, cause I really like Wiggins release, he will get a lot, hit a lot of threes. His driving dunk also goes up to 91. His driving layup with an 88. Free throw plus 11 as well as big. So he becomes an incredible slasher. His on ball defense IQ goes up to nine, which is huge. Lateral quickness was all right anyway. So now suddenly he becomes a really long fast slasher. Who's an incredible dunker 
and can shoot. He basically becomes like what you expect from a really good Gerald Green card. <laughs> But uh, this Wiggins just becomes, he becomes the Wiggins of old. The Wiggins of like 2K16, when uh, his 80 overall gold was like just a god in the game. Uh, he's just almost back to that level. His Wiggins becomes incredible with the duo. And this dynamic duo is so fun to use. Both of these cards are great. And last up, we have got Carl Anthony Towns in this duo. Carl Anthony Towns only goes up 19 total attributes. Defensive ones don't matter too much. However, he goes up to a 91 shot mid, and he goes plus six for three which is 88. Carl Anthony Towns does not have the worst release in the world. His release isn't the best, but it's not terrible. And this duo for like 13k MT max, you can get an 88 rate, or a center with an 88 rate of three, 76 speed, 74 acceleration, decent speed with ball, a good driving dunk, great rebounding stats. And although his defense is lacking, he's got everything else and he's big enough to do block shots just based on height. So Carl Anthony Towns and Wiggins duo, I know I said it was in no order, but this is definitely the best of all the relatively cheap duos you can get in NBA 2K19, my team. So anyway, that's the video. Sorry I had to do this on 2K NBA Central, but obviously the stats for the dynamic duos are glitched in the menu, so I can't do it there. Sorry, in the lineup, so I can't do it there. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.